बांधवगढ़ टाइगर रिजर्व द टाइगर टेम्पल ऑफ इंडिया विद मोर देन सेवेंटी वाइल्ड टाइगर्स इन एन एरिया स्प्रेड अक्रॉस वन फाइव थ्री सिक्स स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर्स बांधवगढ़ इज अ हॉट स्पॉट फॉर बिग कैट साइटिंग इन इंडिया द पार्क वॉज एस्टेब्लिश मोर देन फिफ्टी ईयर्स अगो एंड अट्रैक्ट मोर देन वन लैख टूरिस्ट पर ईयर Hello wildlife lovers and welcome back to our channel Discover Wild Paws. In this video, we will talk about the different zones of Pandavgarh and which ones are the best for tiger sighting. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more wildlife content. First, let's understand how many zones are there in Pandavgarh National Park. Like all the other parks of Madhya Pradesh, Pandavgarh has two types of zones core and buffer there are three core zones and three buffer zones in this park the core zones are mostly in the center of the jungle and have absolutely no human activities the buffer zones on the other hand are located on the boundaries of core zones and have some regulated human activities for pandavgarh The core zones are around 716 square kilometer in area while the buffer zones are around 820 square kilometers Each of the six zones have a specific name to them and even though a part of the same tiger reserve each zone is different in its biodiversity Let's begin with the most prominent zone of Pandavgarh the Tala zone This is by far the most beautiful zone of Pandavgarh and irrespective of its tiger sightings this is a must visit. The zone is the oldest of the park and has been used time and again by wildlife videographers for filming documentaries. The famous documentary The Hunt was shot in Tala zone of the park. Also there is a famous 10th century big Vishnu statue in this zone. which is a major tourist attraction the famous bandavgarh fort after which the park got its name is also in this zone and yes this zone is a prime territory of many bold tigers so the zone comes with beauty and great big cat sightings hence it is number 1 in bandavgarh The next one after this is Magdi zone. This zone is a mix of both grasslands and dense forests. In recent years it has shown great improvements in its tiger sightings. Because this zone is adjacent to Tala zone, tigers keep moving between Tala and Magdi, making this the second best zone of the park. The other good thing about this zone is the man-made water holes built by the forest department during summer tigers are found lying in their pool and tourists get to see tiger almost every day the next one is the third core zone of the park khetoli unlike magdi and tala this zone is dry deciduous forest with bamboo plantation this will remind you partially of ranthambore tiger reserve in rajasthan However, its dry environment and less cover of vegetation makes it easier to find tigers here. This zone is great for sighting other animals of the park too. From elephants to nilgai to sambar deer, this zone is a paradise for animals. There is a road which passes through Bandavgarh. Tala and Magdi zones are located to the right, while Khitoli is located to the left. After the three core zones comes the three buffer zones. Throughout the prime tiger season from October 1st to June 30th, the buffer zones are not preferred by the wildlifers. But when the core zones get shut for 3 months during monsoons, these buffer zones start getting attention. A lot of people have an opinion that good tiger sighting can only happen in core zones of the park. but because the tiger numbers in the parks are increasing due to territorial fights 
the sabotage tigers are pushed out of their territories and for them the buffer zones are the perfect hideout lots of food and less competition the other good thing about these buffer zones is that they have a night safaris as well when it gets dark the animals are super active and a night safari from 7 pm to 9:30 can give you a very different experience of the jungle of course this is not everyone's cup of tea and if you feel scared a day safari is just fine too The three buffer zones of Bandavgarh are Johila, Dhamokar and Panpatta. Each of the three buffer zones are extensions of the core zones. Johila for example is extension to Tala zone and has the famous Johila waterfall. Its scenic beauty makes it attractive to all the visitors. The Dhamokar zone is an extension to Magdi zone, a mix of ancient caves and grasslands. makes it perfect for wildlife sighting and finally the panpatha zone is an extension to khetoli zone of the park remember the entry gates of all these buffer zones are 20 to 25 kilometers away from the core zones and hence it is advisable to book these by your hotel location even though the list is now complete We request you not to follow this ranking blindly. Whenever you are planning a trip, drop us a message in the comments and we can tell you which zones are doing great at that particular moment. If you are not sure how you can make a booking for your Bandavgarh safari, please watch our video series on how to book tiger reserves in Madhya Pradesh. The link is in the video description below. So we hope you are now clear about all the zones in Pandavgarh. We make many videos on wildlife information and sightings. If you don't want to miss our videos, please subscribe to our channel Discover Wild Paws and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and keep discovering wild paws.